All right, let's, uh, I guess let's talk about the channel because changes are coming. But first, a smoothie. So while I want to talk about the future, I think we should probably start with the past in the past year. This year, I kind of laid off of the videos heavily compared to last year where I was making two to three videos a week. I made probably less than 10 videos this year to try and focus on health and get other things situated. And as a brief kind of update, because probably not all that interesting to many people, uh, progress has not gone as I would have hoped. It's not to say that no progress has been made, but minimal progress. There's still a lot I need to sort out. I have plenty of tests to get done still. We're trying to tackle the anxiety and, and panic attacks. That said, all of these changes happening through COPPA have got me thinking about a lot of different things in regards to this channel and the future of it. And uh, well, yeah, so things are gonna have to change and how they're going to change is something that I've been struggling with, trying to sort out. Let's kind of talk through some of my thoughts on where we can go with this channel, what we can do with it, because uh, over the next few days, you'll likely be seeing some videos uh, either potentially disappear from the channel completely, things like some of the all ages, uh, nerf gameplay videos. We have people sign release forms every single time or, or for all the games that they play that understands, you know, the safety stuff, but that people will be filming there and stuff like that. I just want to be really on the right side of this and not have any of the younger players uh, and whatnot. So some of that may go away. Um, any of the basic reviews of like uh, toy store blasters that you'll find like on the shelves will probably be marked as for kids, even though I didn't make them for kids. They're more likely than not going to be viewed as targeting kids. So we're gonna go ahead and mark those as such. And then the rest I'm going to go through on a case by case basis and list some of them as for kids and some for not and see kind of where we land after that in terms of what's left and uh, what the YouTube algorithm does with my judgments on these, whether it agrees, whether it doesn't, all that sort of stuff. So we've got plenty to see kind of how things shake out. But after that's all done, how do we move forward? Some of the options I've been leaning to is thinking about other platforms like Facebook, which I don't really like, but we use for Nerf to organize games and events and stuff like that. And uh, that's an option that I think is important to look at and consider. My seat is sinking. Some of you may have saw I made a Facebook page for you know, Jangular um, just to be able to post things on Facebook and whatnot and have it available in there. So I'll link that down below if you want to go ahead and like it. Another option I thought about that I pretty quickly nixed was uh, uploading all my videos to Vimeo and then hosting them through Patreon, which I mean, I could list them all as, you know, you don't need to be a backer to watch them, but people don't really check Patreon unless they're backing someone. So people aren't going to go look there for videos and, and assume that there will be free content there. So that was pretty much out of the question. I thought about focusing more on Instagram and changing the video formats to be shorter and more Instagram oriented and whatnot. But that doesn't necessarily feel right either. So there's a whole bunch of things and, and kind of, I've leaned towards a couple different options. The first of which is continuing to just make Nerf content on this channel um, and just really, really orient the content to be not kid targeting in any way. So like essentially there'd be nothing Hasbro, nothing Dart Zone, nothing like nothing you would find on a toy aisle uh, would be related. And maybe I, I take it and strictly focus on the competitive side of things. The other option that I'm looking at is kind of spreading things out. Uh, so something I've thought about for a long time and, and many, many people that make videos run into the same thing is wanting to do more than just one thing uh, because 
I like sharing the things I, the things I enjoy. That's really what I enjoy. One of the things I really enjoy about this and being able to interact with all of you being one of the other large ones. So I enjoy more than just Nerf. So I kind of was thinking, what if this just shifted into a things I enjoy kind of review and focus and whatnot. So there'd still be plenty of, you know, blaster stuff, but there'd also be some other things kind of mixed in and, you know, to get to really kind of have some creative freedom to do some things and format things differently and, and stuff I could, I could have fun with. So that's kind of something that's popping into my head and kind of has stuck. Uh, as a potential option and alongside that also doing things like uh, Twitch streams like once or twice a week so that uh, There's another way to talk with people live because again that interaction is like It's just so fun like being able to read comments and then on Twitch read them live and be able to Interact with people as it's happening. And yeah, this this whole Time of trying to figure things out has got me like I said earlier thinking and one of the things I've realized is how much I really enjoy doing this and just making videos, being able to share things with all of you that I really, really love it. And it just, I don't want to stop doing that. That said, the amount of time invested is heavy. I'm very likely to get some flack for this in the comments, but there is a bit of a stigma. It feels like about people pursuing things that potentially involve money. Um, and if I'm being really honest with myself, I would love to do this for a living. Like I, I want to create and entertain and inform people for a living. Like that is an ideal career. And while yes, we all don't always get to have our ideal careers, why not try? Why not go for it? And that's something I haven't really let myself do in my life is I have a lot of ideas that I don't follow through on that I regret. I don't push for them. I don't go all in. So it's kind of like, why don't I just do it for once? Why don't I just go all in and try now? Also, just to be as clear as possible, when I said something like going all in or anything like that, I don't mean trying to grow things as quickly as possible by any means necessary and ignoring any possible concerns or things like that. No, I mean doing it right. Going about it in a way that allows me to not only be creative, but also feel like I have integrity and uh, can, can not just feel like I'm trying to push something so I can jump to full time content creator or whatever you want to call it. No, doing it right, doing it healthy, doing it a good way so that it's sustainable and a long term thing and with all of you. Just wanted to clarify. That said, I've been enjoying contracting with Orange Modworks and I have no intention of stopping that uh, in the foreseeable future at all. So I plan on continuing to contract with them while seeing what I can do here and what I can do to grow things and really give this an honest all out effort and how I can do it right and do it in a healthy way while also improving my health and getting better and just being where I want to be. So that's kind of where I'm at. Uh, let me know your thoughts on this. I am very curious to see how things go in the new year once these changes take effect and I start doing some things a little bit differently, potentially. So let me know where you stand. I always want to hear from all of you and I am uh, looking forward cautiously to how things can go, to the potential. Jumping in really quick while I'm editing, because I noticed I forgot to talk about Tag Talk, and that is something that I really enjoy doing. Uh, I'm looking forward to doing more with Walcom on that. Just, I wasn't feeling too great, and then the holidays happened, and things just got holiday-y, so I haven't had a chance to, but very much want to continue doing that and have some thoughts and ideas for it. So look forward to that. I know I am. To the ideas that I have in my head, and hopefully getting to be creative and finding success with all of you. So thank you so much for listening, and I hope to hear from each and every one of you. Ooh, I look poopy.
That's okay. I got a smoothie. And that's all that matters.